inside the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena in the heart of the Grand River. The, the Six Nations of the Grand River, I should say. It is 4-2, Six Nations over Coburg through 20 minutes of play. And I'm not exactly an Oscars type of host. <laughs> You're um, <laughs> You know, I, I, I don't usually give out awards. I'm not usually the facilitator of such an honor. Well, tonight's so this your is, first this chance. Is gonna be tonight's a, this your is day. This is going to be a new, uh, a, new, <laughs> a new thing for me. The 2022 Major Series Lacrosse Awards. There's six or seven There's awards. seven awards. Seven awards eight in total. We can't give out the eighth one because the playoffs aren't done yet. So. Yep. So we, uh, we got some awards. We got some trophies to hand out, virtual trophies. Virtual I guess you trophies. I can, can say because some of the winners are going to be in the locker room rooms right now trying to get uh, ready for the second period of play of course we're into the first intermission the other game Peterborough and Brooklyn they're also in action here tonight but you know what enough of me talking Daryl <laughs> let's get to some awards we got some You're big good awards host. here You're good in awards major host. series lacrosse yeah we we have seven awards to hand out uh, and again we uh, with our partnership with Rogers near TV we thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do that uh, we've got some uh, sponsors presenting these awards and it's it, and it's been one of those seasons that uh, it, it, it's been a challenge to get going and, and and keep on going and it's been a phenomenal season and that's reflective of the uh, talent and the, the, the play that's on the floor and we can't thank them enough can't thank the fans enough for being uh, a part of the ride so without a further ado i guess we're going to go with the awards our first award the murphy award for most valuable player because you know what we don't know how to hand out Awards. We're going to go with the MVP first. And why no, why not? There's no speeches, by the way. Uh, this one's going to be presented by Legend Rings. Cody Jamison, well deserved. The, the heart and soul of the Six Nations Chiefs. He had 12 goals, 21 assists for 33 points, 10 games. Uh, he was uh, he was voted by every team. He was a first pick by a lot of the teams. Uh, he's not the the top scorer on the team, but uh, those intangibles, the, it's the Cody Jamison. I always say the Cody Jamison factor. And he's got that, and he's had that this summer for the Six Nations Chiefs, and that's uh, that, that just shows in the Six Nations Chiefs record. Yeah, then, 12, 12 goals, 21 assists, 33 points. I mean, he he was he's done a little bit job. of everything. Yep. Uh, the next award is the Merv McKenzie Most Valuable Defensive Player, and that one's presented by our friends at Un Uncommon Fit, who have outfitted most of the teams this season. And that one is going to Scott Dominey, the defender for the Cobra Kodiaks. And you know what, Scott Dominey, we've talked a lot about him in this series. He's been a lockdown defender all season long. You don't need stats uh, uh, to show you that. He he's got great foot movement, and he he's a lockdown defender. He uh, closes off those lanes. He's been phenomenal all summer long, so congratulations to Scott Dominey. Uh, the next award, the Gene Dopp Rookie of the Year Award, presented by Signature Lacrosse. And you know what? You have to go with Dyson Williams yeah, on this yeah. one for the Brickland Lacrosse Club. This kid's been unreal this season. Dyson Williams, uh, league leading scorer uh, with 12, or sorry, with 26 goals. He had, he's the lead point getting, or the point getter with 43 points. So Dyson Williams is the, uh, the, the rookie of the year. And he's also obviously the Bucko McDonald leading scorer, and that one is presented by our friends at True Temper Lacrosse, obviously. Led the league yep, in scoring. 40, 45 <laughs> points. Led the league in goals. scoring, rookie of the year, and you know why? He's been phenomenal all season long. And another award winner, the Harry Lumley Award for uh, lowest goals against, and that one is presented by our friends at Lax Balls. Uh, tonight's starter for the Six Nations Chiefs, Dougie Jamison. Dougie Jamison. Uh, uh, the, the, the criteria for this one, you had to play in 50% of the games for your team. And Dougie Jamison with an unreal 8.88 goals against average. He's been he's been phenomenal. And for a team with an embarrassment of riches of goaltending, you have him and Warren Hill, two two number one goaltenders. But uh, Dougie Jamison, in a, in his share of time, he's uh, he's taken the bulk of the work and has been unreal this season for the Doug, or for the Six Nations Chiefs. 
and uh, the Terry Sanderson Coaching Staff Award. And that one is presented by our friends at Training Division, and that one's going to go to the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. And again, they've had a fantastic season. They've got young talent on that team, the likes of Dyson Williams, Launch Brad, the list goes on. They, they have stockpiled so much talent. Brad MacArthur has done an unreal job stocking up on uh, talent, uh, young talent, and uh, and look at them there. They're, they're in a dogfight with the Peterborough Lakers in the playoff series. And then finally, the last award, the Jim Brady Award uh, for volunteer, uh, volunteerism and contributions to the game. And uh, this one is a, this one was a, a special one to give. We, as uh, the Board of Governors, we uh, handed it out to Major Series Lacrosse. Uh, Tina Manning, the governor, one of the governors for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club and uh, our chair, uh, this season she suggested it in a nice email written and uh, for a, a lot of people that don't know the trials and tribulations that major series lacrosse has had to endure this uh, uh, not only this summer but uh, leading up to just getting this season going uh, it's been a long haul we're all volunteers here mm -hmm. and uh, we've um, I, I, as a member of that board of, of governors and a, a member of the executive as well I know I have put in a, probably more time on major series lacrosse than my own job and I'm not the only one everyone every single one of the volunteers at major series lacrosse uh, from our interim commissioner Lynn Withers all the way down to all the governors uh, the training staffs the coaching staffs the players uh, it's a it's a tribute to uh, getting this season going and having a great season the, the, the great season that were uh, that we had and the great playoffs and, and again unreal playoffs so far every game decided by one or two goals uh, every game's been a nail biter heck we, uh, they might all go seven you never know be just the way that they're going you know, this is the part where I'm supposed to say something heartfelt, Daryl Smart, <laughs> but I think you took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, just the amount of work that's put in to get the season underway. I mean, even for myself, oh. when I was told to, uh, I was going to be, you know, commentating for the Six Nations Chiefs, I said yes, but then I was told, you know what, we're going to have to hold off for a little bit. <laughs> you don't, we don't know what's going on. And then a few weeks later, hey, we got lacrosse back. And we're, we're thankful for that. And we're thankful for the fans uh, for sticking with us. Uh, it, like I said, it's been a long haul. And we can't thank the, the fans enough, uh, coast to coast, states, everywhere around the world. We know uh, that the, the reach is out there. And, and again, a part of that is uh, Rogers Television and uh, your TV. They've been both phenomenal. And we can't thank, uh, I, I don't think uh, the, the gratitude uh, 